The cable car ride is the end of a long commute to work. It takes these scientists two hours to get from their hometown to their laboratory at 2,700 meters above sea level. We go up about once every one or two months. The trip is fairly strenuous. It takes an awful lot of time. And the first day you're up there, it's hard to get any work done. Somehow you can't think very fast, but after a while you adjust. The thin air is one problem, and the weather can also play tricks. Sun, snow, storms. The work at this research station high in the Alps is heavily dependent on the forecast. The institute is reached by its own cable car. Before the scientists get to work, they make the beds. The station has 11 rooms for putting up scientists and visitors. It's not what you'd call a hotel, but it's perfectly comfortable. You have your own bathroom, not one in the hall, and that's nice. Sabine Wüst specializes in what's known as atmospheric gravity waves. Gravity waves always occur when pockets of air are vertically displaced. For instance, when a southern flow hits the Alps, then the airflow has to swerve upwards so the Alps act as a birthplace of the gravity waves. Gravity waves in the mountains are oscillations of air. When the individual air packets reach great heights, they cool off and sink down again. Research into these atmospheric waves requires lots of calculation and simulation. The scientists believe their work will help make computer models of the Earth's climate more accurate. Climate models have regional as well as global relevance. And especially in terms of regional effects, there's been relatively little investigation of gravity waves. The researchers study their gravity waves here on one of the terraces at the Institute. But with weather like this, they can forget what they call their measurement campaign. In the distance, the snowcats are battling with the masses of snow. When we've got a long campaign planned, then we stay here and wait it out. <laughs> so what do you do in the meantime? We write papers, analyze results. There's plenty to do. That's not a problem. No time wasted? No. But there's more to life than work. We take the opportunity to ask Sabine Wust about her hopes for her research. Shortly before dinner. I hope that it will continue to be as much fun as it has been up to now. That's all, really. And then the rest of the staff come round for a meal of spaghetti. It could be a long evening up here on the Zugspitze. Oh.